Hi, I'm Mr. Gary. I'm Emma Hannigan from SPS. How are you? Can you tell me, has technology enabled you to do, create designs that you wouldn't have been able to do in the past? Um, well, I think 30 years ago or so, I uh, was trying to, to emulate the world of movement we, we were in, cars, planes, everything moving. And I thought of using that as a replacement of, of, for feeling, to create a, a replacement decoration. And uh, I couldn't build it. I tried by normal methods, and it was difficult and expensive. And I went to IBM at that time and asked them if they had any new software programs. They connected we, me with Dassault Systems. Dassault Systems in France um, uh, build airplanes like the 777 paperless. And I embedded myself in their place until they gave me the stuff to try. Uh, and the first time I, I got it successful, I found success with it, is we used it in Bilbao. The um, structure, the steel structure in Bilbao is made up of many pieces of steel. No, not many are the same. They're all different. And if you give that to a general contractor, you know, forget it. You're going to, price goes up. Uh, we trained six subcontractors uh, with our system. They went on, on our uh, software. And uh, the bids for six, six individual bidders came in 18% under budget with a 1% spread. So that gave you confidence that you could pick the one you wanted, uh, that, that these were real bids. And then, in fact, they built it for that. When that happened, uh, I had a drink and celebrated because <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was the future. And, uh, and uh, from then on, I, I developed with my team uh, add-ons and uh, modifications to the Dassault uh, Katia to make it simpler for the construction industry. Uh, and we, we've trained uh, Zaha Hadid to use it and Softy and Nouvelle and many others uh, because it's my hope that the architect can become the master builder again and not be marginalized because uh, the industry has, has that tendency. Because every time you bid a building, it always comes in over budget, and then the owner starts talking to the general contractor and the architect, sweetie pie, you, you've done a great job, and uh, us big boys are going to tell you how to build it. I hate that, and I won't have it. <laughs> and uh, we're going to run the goddamn project and make sure it comes in on budget and it fits the needs of, the, of our client. And basta, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>